welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms today our lesson is linear search so let's start so there are very basic steps for this linear search in order to search an element we invoke this method so what is the strategy the strategy is very simple we are given an array and we need to find an element so what we do is we start from the leftmost index of the array and we match each of the array elements with the desired value to be searched for if the array element matches with the desired value then the array index is returned if no element is matched with the desired value then minus 1 is returned now the thing is that even after that linear search is the most simplest search we really or we practically do not use linear search because there are other search techniques such as binary search or hash tables which does more faster and significant search so anyway let's jump on to the programming part and see how we can implement this linear search technique so i have opened my id and here first i'm going to take an array of integer type so let me take the elements here any random values so so suppose this is the array now i need to have the size of the array for that i'll use the size of operator so size of array divided by size of array of zero so here now I'll just uh, print down the array so the array is so I'll use a for loop here i is equals to 0 i less than size i plus plus ok I need to take this uh, actually I need to take some variables here this one then let me take search in which I'll store the value to be searched for and another one cut now inside this for loop I'll simply print the values of the array so percentage d and the value is array of so now I'll print a message for the user that is enter the data to search and here I'll use a scanf percentage d comma ampersand search now I'll use the linear search function here linear search now I want this function to return the array index of the uh, you know element to be searched so I'll take another variable called index so I'll assign index is equal to this linear search the arguments for this function will be the array itself the size of the array and the element to search so after the function is uh, done with its execution we would like to print down this message that uh, before that we will be checking that if index is not is equal to minus 1 then only I'll print a success message so the element is found at percentage d at position and here it will be index plus 1 and in the else part I'll print search on 
successful. So now I will uh, define this linear search function. So the return type of the function is int and this is the function. Uh, so let's say that the array type obviously will be int. Let's just give the data types of these arguments. So now I'll just need to take a loop variable and I'll now run a for loop here. So for i is equals to 0 i less than size i plus plus what I'll do I'll check if array of i matches with the desired value that is search then I'll simply say return the index otherwise if it doesn't match and simply return minus one so this should be the program let's now run it and see how it actually behaves so we have the output here so the array is two three seven eight eleven four and it is asking a data to search so let's say we want to search 11 and it is in position one two three four fifth position so let's say if it returns five or not so as we can see it says the element is found at fifth position so the program runs properly this is how you can implement linear search thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time